Oh, is it, is it still good? Her husband built the bathroom to look like a grotto. Oh my God. He is so popular. When they see him at an estate sale, they start quivering. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to go check out that house, that estate sale from yesterday's video that Chris, um, you know, got all that cool stuff and I want, I can't wait to show you some stuff. It's so funny, but, um, I'm not going to lie. I have a, a bit of food poisoning right now. My flatbread was great. I'll put the little video here. It was so good, but I opened up this pesto while well, it's already been, just real quick, the pesto stove was already open and then, you know, we had the, the fire and it had our electricity all turned off and so I was like, well, this is a little older. <laughs> it should be fine. It's vegan. Oh, I just heard my stomach growl. Anyway, um, I'm not throwing up or any other things, but oh, my stomach's all bloated. So I was like tasting it. I already put it on the thing and um, I was tasting it and it was really sour. And I was like, ah. I kept doing, I don't know. Is it, is it still good? And then I decided to wipe it off the whole pizza and thank God I did because oh, my stomach, my stomach. But enough about my problems. Let's go to this estate sale. I can't wait to see it. Here it is. I guess the husband built her this house and um, they lived in Germany for a long time. So this is gonna be exciting. It's over here. I'm waiting for Chris to show up. Oh. Wow. Little pathway over there. This might be like a hoarder situation. I'm kind of scared. But Chris loves this stuff. Let's go in. Well, that's a cool pot over there. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. Cash or Venmo only. Okay. Let's go in. Yeah. Oh my, I knew I'd find you in here. It was a great time to live. That's pretty interesting. Oh yeah. Which uh made gold yeah. Uh, oh wow, look at the old tile. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh look at that. That's really cool. I love this old tile. <gasps> you guys. Does anyone remember those? The little stickers? They're like 60s flowers. Is so cool. Okay. Wow. I love this tile. Found my first purchase right here. These are hard to find. Okay. I'm going to take a closer look at these books and then we'll continue with the tour. You guys, this butterfly keeps following me around. Um, okay. That's cute. I like that frame. Oh, look at this closet trunk. I like that frame too. 
That is cool. Is there any big in it? Wow. That's pretty neat. Ooh, look at these shoes. Those are high. I haven't even gotten to the big um, book area. Look at all these scarves. That's silk. You guys, look at that. Sorry, it looks foggy when I do that because it, my lens is broke. So we'll go over there. Look at the clothing. Fur coat. Okay. Stay. Uh, uh, if I if I knew anything about selling books, you know. It's, you gotta figure there's a couple Yeah. I'm always on the look for. I, there's. You got a butterfly in here. That's good luck. I think. Wow. So many books. Lots of scarves. Oh. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Queen of the Night by the House of Erin. sewing machine and mattress not for sale good <laughs> you know my struggles okay mm. Jackie wow wow Very well read. Look at all these shoes. Holy cow. Anything cute? No. I don't know if there's any 60s style shoes. Kind of. Those red ones. Here. Yeah, this is what Chris was telling me about. So, um, she, okay, so this lady loved Playboy, and she had her husband build the bathroom to look like a grotto. Like, after, you know, the Hugh Hefner grotto. Oh, look at that. I would probably have to censor that crap. <laughs> Wow. Lots of rocks. Look at these. So cool. And I'm going to show you the biggest part right now. This is their grotto shower. It was probably like more like a hot tub, don't you think? Because there's like 
an incense burner down there. And then there's a wood stove right there. Oh my God. That is so scary. Oh, I don't like you. <laughs> oh, wow. You a pole to hang your towels. These are pretty steep steps down. That doll is so creepy. Wow. Oh, I love old diet books. Wow. Well, we only did, uh, I only worked in Colorado as a survivor. Oh, well, I tell you what, I did, I started my apprenticeship in Kansas, and then they could run water back down through that area. Okay. And then back down into the main area. It's the kitchen. Yeah. That's cool. There's some little prices. I can't believe they built this all themselves. Look at the inside of this wall. The cover wallpaper. That is so cool. That's so cool. Wow. I wonder if there's any tarot cards. Look at all the birds. Here's an instruction manual or something like that. Nice and I go all look around, but there's a lot of paper here. God, yeah. You know, I'm going to No, no, I probably am going to Yes, but it might be here. Yeah. You can get all the Just download it. Yeah. Yeah. My parents didn't throw anything away. Is that like the notes? Yeah. They're so interesting, I know. It shows things to do. And then what are extras and your things and your pink ones? And they all seem to be on top. That is cool. Yeah. Look at those handles. Those are pretty cool. There's like a little bar here. Wizard of Oz books. So many books. Wow. Okay. This is the garage. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they they, uh, they wrapped most of the house today, and they're not going to be back till next week on that. So so you've got the place to yourself. And uh, there's only one little kitchen. I don't have it framed up yet, but that's just going to be a couple plugs. And that won't be a big deal. But uh, I, can, I can work on that tomorrow. And then uh, I've uh, dug out that whole trench where all that weird electrical temporary <laughs> thing is. So you guys can take a look at that. Scrap. Scrap. Okay, you guys, we made it back home, and I wanted to show you. I stopped at Whole Foods because, you know, we just were there, and the guacamole was not 50% off, and now it is. So I'm going to freeze one. You can freeze guacamole, by the way. It's delicious. And I got some chips. I got some fire roaster salsa. I decided to treat myself and pay $10 for a salad roll, and I got this. I usually, I don't like Olipops because they always have a vanilla flavor, but this said Tropical Punch, so we'll see because my gut is killing me. I really want to eat the chips and guacamole, but I'm dying on the inside, literally. Ugh, so bad. But anyway, we're not here to hear me complain. We've done that for the last week, so. Oh, I wanted to put this in the fridge. Hold, please. Okay, I went through all the Playboys last night. I didn't get 
the June, the Sharon Tate one. And I don't know, I didn't even think about the Dorothy Stratton one. Um, so I don't know about that. But these are the ones I found interesting and you guys might find interesting too. Whether it's a cover, like I got this one. I mean, this is such a famous one. I got it. She didn't write on this one. Look at the cover on this one. I've never seen this one before. That's pretty cool. Wait until we get to the good stuff. Uh, and then this Playboy, it's the 15th holiday anniversary issue. It's like a textured and an emboss, is that right? Um, Playboy bunny on there. That's pretty cool. Wish I could show you more. How am I do this? I love this cover. <laughs> I love this cover. And, uh, oh gosh. This one. She's the one that had that Playboy dress. Let me see. Um, I haven't even like looked through any of these. I was just, we, we were just going through them all and just like, oh, is this gonna be the Sherman Tate one? And it'd be like, November 67, no, like every month, but the one I wanted almost, no. Um, oh, this one was interesting. Okay, hold on. So not organized. So she would write all over, but Chris thinks like one of the kids did this, but like totally just scribble all over it. So she got a pristine one. <laughs> that was really funny. I think this might be her writing, but maybe not. It also looks like kid writing on there. I love the cover of this one. There's so many covers that I love, but this is just kind of what I picked out yesterday. Uh, yes, yes to this one. I love everything about it. Um, oh, I loved this one too. All right, this one's from uh, seven or 68. Yeah. And it just, it's kind of like hippie ish kind of, you know, I don't know. And then, okay. So here we go. Um, so she would write like things like this on a lot of them. I thought I had them all out. I don't know. It was late last night. By the time we started going through all these, and I showed you the one that, the one that I think like maybe her husband wrote into Playboy. It was like one of the Playboy letters. Um, I loved this one with the gremlin. So cute. And uh, here's some writing. <laughs> you guys can read that. And I looked it up what page 60 was and it was like, like a letter. So she was mad about that. The house was crazy. We'll, we'll get into the house in a second. And here's another one that she would write all over. I talked to her granddaughter. I was like, I really love the Playboy. She actually put a chili recipe on page 167. Maybe we should make that. I was talking to her granddaughter and she, I was like, yeah, we got all the Playboys. And she's like, yeah, my, my grandma loved them so much. She, and she told us that, that the shower was like built to be kind of like the grotto, whatever. And then I found this was interesting. I don't know. This was with all the Playboys. There was so much stuff as you saw. Um, but this is a stamp collection. Can you see the different stamps that they would collect? Like on there? I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't know anything about that. But yeah, those are the ones I picked out last night that I thought were real interesting. Oh, my lips are dry. Real interesting. Uh, but let's talk about the house. So you guys saw everything. They're gonna open it up more in two weeks after this weekend. And there's like that stairway you saw, that's an art studio. And they're gonna open up that on Memorial weekend their art studio and something else so I'm excited to go up there but that's 
Memorial weekend, um, there was crazy things like every type of religion books. There was Nazi stuff. Now they're from Germany, so uh, not like Nazi. It was more propaganda, like books and like all that kind of stuff. And then they would have Jewish stuff, and it, it was like they like pretty much like were almost like a computer. They had so much knowledge about all sorts of subjects. I mean, it was crazy. And um, yeah, they seemed like really open-minded people on all sorts of stuff. I mean, witchcraft books, astrology books, uh, lots of lots of different books, a lot of hardcover. They were trying to um, go through the books and see how much they were on eBay, like when you cashed out. <laughs> but the funniest thing is, I'm gonna show you what I got, because I scored. Um, the funny thing is, is uh, I was in that room where all the books were. I mean, books everywhere, but you know what I'm talking about. And Chris walks in, and these three guys are all, oh shit, Fink's here. He's already, he's gonna buy all the good stuff. And I like standing there. There's a lot of people don't know who I am. It's really funny because a lot of times I don't go to a lot of places Chris goes to. And he's like a big shopper or like a car guy. Like I'll go to a car show, but it'll be one or two a year, not every single one. So Chris knows a lot of people. So I'm just standing there and then Oh, because I hear him like yelling, talking to someone. He's like, well, we better, we better search because he's here. He's going to find the good stuff. Oh, it's probably already gone. I'm all, yeah, he got it all yesterday. <laughs> and they're all, what? And they were like, hey, Fink, where's the smut? We've been out here looking for smut. Did you get the smut? And I, I was like, yeah, we got all the Playboys. They're like, no way. So it was pretty funny. He is so popular. When they see him at an estate sale, they start quivering. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I got because, okay, those kids were looking for smut. They were going through all the board, uh, all the books and stuff. And right at their feet, you will not believe what I got. Let me show you. Okay, we'll start up here. So I got the Linda Goodman um, Love Signs. I have not seen any of her books in a long time. And if you guys know anything about her, there's a mystery, but yeah, it has all this horoscope stuff in here. I mean, these people are very eclectic. I don't know what all the stuff is. I haven't even looked through it yet. I'm just looking through it with you guys. Oh, they got it in Anchorage, Alaska. These people traveled all over the world too. They had all their family pictures there. And I guess the grandkids didn't want them, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And then um, it was three paperbacks. I found these on the wall when I first walked in. Um, it was three paperbacks for a dollar. So I had this book a long time ago, uh, The Power of the Pyramid. And this, uh, this book actually for a paperback could go for a lot of money. I think once I bought it, and I got rid of it. I think I spent like 30 bucks or something. I was like, I need to know the power of the pyramid. Um, but yeah. And then I thought, saw these, um, really cool. Bear Cub Scout, Wolf Cub Scout books. Look, they have the little writing in them. So cute. I might learn something about camping. Now, oh. And then, <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. And then I saw this. It's a ring watch. Here, let me put it on. It doesn't work. Can you guys even see it? It doesn't work. It just needs a battery. And it's um, adjustable. But I guess her grandma wore it for 30 years. She was a school teacher and didn't like wearing watches. So she had this and it was like super sentimental, you know, obviously. I don't know why it's blurring out. And um, 
So I was like, how much for the rewatch? Cause she was like really kind of sad. She was like, I didn't, I don't know if I want to let it go. I'm like, I'll wear it. I promise. And, uh, she was like 150 <laughs> and I was like, Oh, and she's all no. And so I got it for $3. That's amazing. And then, well, it's a Playboy, but it's a Playboy board game. Look at that. Wait, hold on. Okay, so I kind of set it up for you guys, but isn't that cool? And look, I don't know how this is played. It's almost like, to me, it seems like a, um, like a clue monopoly, because there's the Playboy money here. I see. But um, these are like the score pads. And they say, here, I'll let's make it closer. And it's like personality trait, sultry, unkept, personal satisfaction <laughs> points. Oh my God. So yeah, there's that. Oh, there's more available items. Well, I'm hoping Chris will maybe play this board game with me instead of his normal game of mind games. I'm just kidding. I've been practicing saying that. That's <laughs> so stupid. But he doesn't play games with me in the sense of uh, these kind of games. Uh, but maybe he will. Is that a cell phone? Spending spray. Or maybe it's just a regular phone. I don't even know what year this game is. Do, do, do. Can you guys see? I'll figure it out though. Um, but yeah, $5, by the way. I spent $5 on that. Or Chris spent $5, he bought it for me. But I can't believe I found it. This was literally underneath those guys' feet and they were looking for like nudie stuff or, or you know, Playboy stuff and yeah. And I was like, oh, excuse me, that's mine. <laughs> and they were like, no way! So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and coming to that estate sale with me. It was pretty cool. Love the shower mural tile thing, the grotto. <laughs> There was all sorts of fun stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna go because I'm I'm not feeling great. Still, need this poison out of me. And you know, I was thinking maybe it wasn't only the pesto, but also the hot salsa because it was in there too, maybe for over a week, and then you know, the fridge got warm. Who knows? Anyway, please like, subscribe, and share. I won't be seeing you tomorrow. Um, but hopefully maybe this weekend or Monday. So, so I guess this is it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.